Assalamu alaikum friends Welcome back to our channel So friends, I hope you're doing well today And I hope all of you are fasting right now So friends, today we're going to discuss about two very important hadiths That Prophet Muhammad Wasallam told us And it's about fasting and Ramadan So Amy, do you know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is? Yes, he is our creator Yes, and do you know who ordered us to fast? Like why we're fasting? Yes, Allah ordered us too Yes, and Emmy, do you know who Papa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is? Yes, he's Allah's messenger. Yes, correct. So Emmy, you, you got all those questions right. So friends, today we're going to discuss about two of the important hadiths today about Ramadan and fasting. So friends, let's start. Okay, friends, so hadith number one. Okay, so friends, hadith number one is whoever fasts in Ramadan due to faith and seeking rewards, his previous sins will be forgiven. Okay, so that's the first um sent that's the first thing here in this hadith that Prophet Muhammad said. The second thing is whoever stands in prayer during the night of degree decree, due to faith and seeking rewards, all his previous sins will also be forgiven. So that's the hadith, okay? And friends, if you're looking for this hadith, you can find it in Sahih Al Bukhari and the and the number of, of this is one thousand nine hundred and one. So if you want to look for this hadith, you can just search that up. So Amy, what did you understand from that hadith? So um so what? So this hadith is just about whoever fasts in Ramadan for faith and seeking rewards, all his sins will be removed. So what that means is Amy. Let's say it's the first day of Ramadan. Let's say before Ramadan you did some sins, okay? Mm-hmm. So you did sins. And in Ramadan you fasted for the whole day, okay? And you know what that means? Since you fasted in faith and seeking rewards, all your sins will be removed. Okay? But remember, I mean, when you're fasting, you should always um have faith while you're fasting. Like you should believe in while you're fasting and you should seek rewards, okay? So that's why, okay? So I mean, what did you learn from this? When you're fasting, you should believe in yourself and keep on fasting. Yes, you you should always have faith and you should seek rewards, okay? So, Amy, do you understand now? Yes. Yes, okay. So, what did you get from that? Like, what do you understand? So, before uh, Ramadan, you did some bad sins and then it's Ramadan and you fast and you have faith in yourself. All of your bad sins will be removed. You have to have faith in Allah and not only that, you also have to seek reward from Allah. Not only that, but also in Ramadan, you should be doing good deeds and you should ask Allah for forgiveness, okay? Okay. And friends, also the other thing is, whoever stands in prayer during the night of decree, in, in due to faith and seeking rewards, his previous, his previous sins will also be forgiven, okay? So if you stand in prayer in a, in a night of Ramadan and you... And you pray, then all your previous sins will be forgiven also, okay? So that's the first hadith, okay? That's number one. Now friends, hadith number two is, Whoever fasts with faith and expecting reward will be rid of sins, like the day he was born from his mother. Okay, now what that means, Amelia, is that let's say if you fast with faith and you expect reward, on let's say the third day of Ramadan, you you're fasting and you 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 have faith and you're expecting reward, you will be rid of sin, and you will be as pure as as if you were born from your mother. That means you're like a baby. You know how babies when they're born they don't have any sins because they just started life, so they're blank. They have they don't have any sins at all and no good deeds. And since Ramadan you fasted, you will only have good deeds. Okay, so that's the second hadith. And also, friends, the the reference is Musnad Ahmad, one thousand six hundred and eighty-eight, and this hadith is Sahih, is authentic. I have a question. Okay, Amelia, what's your question? Is it compulsory for everyone in the world to fast, even for example, sick people, or babies? No, Amelia, it's not compulsory for every single one to fast. So, friends, there is a particular category of people that are that are that don't have to fast okay so these people there's a category of people like this they don't have to fast okay 
So friends, these people include people that are sick, people that are traveling, people that are pregnant or breastfeeding, people that are too old to fast, and people that are feeling extremely hungry and thirsty to the point where they are unable to fast and they feel awful, okay? So these are the type of people that don't have to fast, okay? And friends, Islam is not too hard on us. That doesn't mean if you're too old, you still have to fast, or if you're sick, you have to fast, okay? So friends, if so let's say if you're sick, right? If you're sick and you can't fast, what you should do is, for every day you don't fast, for every day you're sick, you have to feed at least one person per day until you are in your best condition, when you're not sick anymore, okay? Now friends, there's also one thing I also wanted to mention. So friend, let's say you let's say you're in perfectly fine condition. You're fine. You're not sick or anything and one day you decide you just decide to skip fasting for no reason at all, okay? And so friends, if you skip fasting for no reason at all, there is a penalty, okay? And this penalty is called kafara. And what that means is this kafara, you either have to fast for 60 days straight which is also two months, or you have to feed 60 pe poor people if you're unable to fast, okay? So that's why you shouldn't skip a day of fasting, okay? Which age do you start fasting? Is it mandatory for kids to fast? So, Emmy, that's a good question, Emmy. So, Emmy, um... When you're when you're like very young like kids you you sh you could you could try fasting like you could try for one day you can try fasting maybe half day you can start fasting but it is highly it, but you should actually start fasting when you're like a fully grown adult because you're not too weak to fast you're strong enough okay but if you're younger like if you're not an adult maybe you're 10 9 or 8 years old you should you should try start you should try fasting some days and some days not fasting okay but you should start when you're an adult and if you're like a kid then um you should like try fasting some days okay also friends if you're young and you start fasting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes really happy because if you're fasting and let's say you're fasting okay and you have food in your house and that means without anyone seeing you could just go to your fridge and eat something but still you refuse to break your fast because you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you and because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes very happy with you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes you, okay? He loves seeing this, okay? If I'm fasting, then I forgot that I was fasting and I eat or drink something. What happens? So, Emi, that's a good question. But, Emi, you said you were fasting and then you suddenly eat or drank something. But you said you forgot you were fasting and then you realized. So, Emi, since you inten since you unintentionally broke your fast, that means you still keep your fast. Because you did not do this on purpose. If you broke your fast on purpose, then your fast is broken and you also have the penalty. So, Emi, since you forgot or you accidentally did it, um, your fast, you still have your fast. Okay, and also friends, let's say if you're fasting right, and let's say something happens, let's say you're bleeding, like your finger's bleeding, or you vomit uh, a, a mouthful or a handful, then you should stop fasting, okay? Because that's because since you vomited, right? That, that means something is wrong, okay? That means something's wrong with your body, and you should stop fasting and just stop for the rest of the day, okay? So friends, that's that. Okay, Amy, you understood? Yes. Okay, friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something in this video too. If you did, please put a like and subscribe to our channel. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. See you in the next video.